Hello peeps and welcome back to Modded Minecraft with Night Dagger and Kozak Wolf. Actually, it's just Night Dagger tonight. Kozak is currently in the middle of hibernating. Uh, we did a little bit of stuff off camera, but before I get into today's episode, I just want to give a word of warning to anyone who has downloaded the episode 10 save file. I logged back in after we were done playing episode 10, decided to go fight in our spider arena a little bit to get some levels to start enchanting some swords, walked through our another portal, and promptly got blown to shit by a creeper. I don't know how he got in there, but he did. So if you go through that another portal, be prepared, death awaits you. I did, however, get a very nice sword after about three attempts. Smite 4, loot 4 pull 2, looting 3. That was actually what I was after. Because Wither Skeletons have been giving us absolute shit, and so have the Endermen. Well, the Endermen have stopped giving us absolute shit, but the Withers, I've still gotten nothing from them. So, let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. I want to work a little bit more on the Applied Energistic System. That's going to require, first of all, getting our Crescent Hammer. Just pop that in there. And pretty much... Well, actually, I don't know if we need to remove all of this. We'll definitely want to remove these blocks, at least for now, to have better access. We definitely need to remove all the piping. But I'm thinking we can reuse most of the existing system here. Might require a little bit of change up, but let's go ahead and put a torch here. Give us some light down here. And I actually want to move our factorization, or not our factorization, our Zycraft fabricator downstairs. This thing is awesome, but not where it currently is. There we go. I think this thing will serve us much better down here. Probably just right here, I think. At least I don't think this will be seen as a chest. Let's find out real quick. Let's come up with something. Uh, let's pull up the recipe for paper. <coughs> because I know we have sugar cane in here. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to count this as a chest and just go, hey, I want to make paper. Let's make a shitload of it. Yeah, that wouldn't have been good. So, there we go. Put the gold chest away. Put this crap away. Put all the pipe away. We need some redstone energy conduit, probably. We're also going to probably need some ME cable before all said and done. And I want to make... Let's come over here. Shift into... Whoa! Okay, blue creeper. Nothing to be worried about. All I did was kill our mana. We can deal with that. How the fuck did he get in here? Did he come from upstairs? I don't think he could have spawned in here. Okay, well, we'll come over here and get our mana regen buff. Start recovering some mana. Alright, so let's go ahead and start making a couple of things. I want to make another pulverizer and another powered furnace. So we're going to need some iron. We're going to need some gold. And we're going to need some glass. So pulverizer, we're going to need two machine frames. So... We'll just do that. We're going to need two of these redstone reception coils. So we need a little bit of redstone. And another two bars of gold. There we go. We're going to need some flint. We'll need a piston. So we need some cobblestone. Some wood. Some flint. 
I need some copper. Uh, I'll just pull this copper out of here. We're going to need a couple of bricks, I think, for the powered furnace. Okay, a pulverizer. We need a piston. So let's go ahead and pull the piston recipe. And... Dun, dun, dun. There we go. One piston. Now we can pull up this recipe. Da -da. There's our pulverizer. And our powered furnace. We need the two bricks, the copper, the redstone. And the bricks, there we go. Powered furnace and a pulverizer. Pull the rest of the stuff out. Dump it back in here. That'll be good. Over here, draw that out because we need another... Ooh, this isn't going to work. We're going to have to figure out something else to do with the redstone energy conduit here. I'll probably just plug it in over here, I think. There we go. And we'll do that. Plug the conduit in there. And we'll wrench that so it can output. We'll put our pulverizer up here with the rest of them power furnace down there. And we'll be good for the moment. We'll need to eventually adjust the outputs, but for right now we're good. Actually, I can't cover that up. That has to be there. There. That'll work. Okay. We have five of each on this wall. So, we need to make a couple of new toys. We need to make some Emmy... Where are they? Export buses and import buses. We need five of each. If we take a look at the import bus, it requires an ME interface, a sticky piston, an ME cable, and some iron. The export bus is pretty much the same thing, but just using a regular piston. So, we need five of these interfaces for each, which means we need ten total, which means we need ten conversion matrices, which means we need ten basic processors. And do I have any of those? No. No basic processors. So we need some gold. We need some redstone. Any silicon? No. So we need some quartz dust to cook up. And we need our quartz cutting knife. There we go. throw these in here. <clears throat> hmm. Three, six, eight, ten. Good enough. Throw those in there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Converge matrix. Oh, nope. Basic processor. Uh... There we go. That gets us our 10 processor assemblies. Uh, there we go. We'll just toss two in each. Okay, now we can make the conversion matrices. No. Yes, conversion matrices. We need some quartz, some iron. There we go. And what else do we need? Redstone, we got plenty of that. Throw that in there. That will give us 10 conversion matrices. To get the ME interface, we need some glass and some cable. So, interfaces, glass, cable, we got six. What are we short on? Iron. Not the door. 
thank you. Easy enough to fix. That gets us our 10 matrices. We'll take five out for now. We need five of these export buses. Well, first of all, we need pistons. So, cobblestone, wood, slime balls. Only five of those. We'll pull all of this crap out. Throw that in, that in, that in. Actually, only ten of those. That in. Bus, piston, recipe, ten pistons. I'll just take five out, turn them into sticky pistons manually. There we go. ME interfaces, sticky pistons. Export buses. Get the recipe for that. We got five export buses. Import buses. Recipe for that. So we got five of them too. We're good to go. We may need some more of this cable before all said and done. Alright, so an import bus will take items out of an inventory and import them into the applied energistic system. They basically act like extractor pipes and logistics pipes. An import bus will take items out of, or an export bus will take items out of the system and import them into an inventory. It's kind of ass-ackwards, I know, but it does work. So the export buses are kind of like your supplier pipes or your item sinks. So we want the export buses to be on the top. We need those to be facing down. Come on. Down. There we go. And we also need to make sure that these pulverizers are set to accept from the top. Currently they are not. So, we need to adjust this and change the top to blue. The bottom is going to be orange because we want, it to, we want anything pulverized in this pulverizer to go down into this inventory. We're going to kind of do the same thing with all of these. There we go. And these we don't want accessible on the sides. Now the furnaces, we need them to be accepting from the top, which they currently are, and we need them to be exporting to the bottom. However, there is a little bit of a quirk with this mod that says that anything that has an output with a colored side will try to eject into a pipe. And we're not using buildcraft or anything here. So we can't eject directly out of these machines into an applied energistic system. So the bottom here actually needs to be colorless. Since this is colorless, it can still be accessed, but it's more of a passive access. It's not an active access, if that makes any sense. It will shortly, I promise. And to the bottom of this, we want to connect our import buses, which we want facing up. Actually, I'm just going to drill this out, make it easier to see, and configure, and I'll drill this out too. We'll come back and replace the floor later. You drill this out too, and boom. Adjust these so they're all facing up. There we go. Now these will export, or basically the applied energistic system will import from this inventory and export to that inventory. Up here, we need to set this to stack mode, because we don't want it to move one item at a time. That's pretty silly. We want it to move entire stacks of items at a time. Same thing down here. Moving one item at a time kind of silly. On this side, we're going to connect our ME cabling, not like that. Just like that, and then over here, we're going to kind of dig under the floor until we find our other system. 
Shouldn't be too far this way. There we go. You can see we've got a new pipe running through here. That's supplying our geogens with lava. Let's dig out some there. Put a conduit there. And we are definitely going to need a little bit more of this ME cable. I don't have enough. So, we need some quartz dust, which we're starting to run pretty low on, and some glass. Where is the ME cable? There we go. Uh, we need to get this quartz fiber. So we got eight pieces of quartz fiber. Throw some redstone up there, and to get the basic recipe for the cable, it is this one right here. Oh, shit. There we go. That got us seven pieces of cable because we ran out of redstone. There's our eighth piece. That should be enough to connect our system. I'm just going to connect it up from the back of the chest here. And I think I'm actually going to run it underneath here. That way we can kind of have a walkway over here, underneath the floor, so we can adjust these if we need to. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. Not a bad idea at all. Break this out, we'll replace it here. And we'll run our cable right up into here. All right, so that's got our system connected. Now, what we need to do is we need to program what kinds of items we want to go into these inventories. For right now, let's toss everything away. And let's look up the word ore. Well, we have some copper ore in the system. We have some iron ore. We have some tin ore. Tungsten ore is totally useless, so we don't want to do anything with that. Aluminum and Vintium we'll have to deal with later. We actually need to get a couple more types of ore to be able to program the system. So, let's go ahead and pop down into our mine for just a minute. Actually, let's grab a bite to eat first. Always good to take some food with you when you go mining. Basically, what we're hunting for is we need to get one piece of gold ore, we need to get another piece of copper, another piece of tin. And we also would like to get some silver and some lead. Hi, zombie. I'm not sure what up, what's up with all the bounce. Okay, we got some copper here. What type of copper is it? The wrong type. Uh, let's see, that up there is some silver. Here's some more copper, but I think that's also the wrong type. Yep, all the wrong type. Uh, what do we got over here? We got coal. We got vintium. We got something up here. Uh, tin. The wrong type. Awesome. This is aluminum. So what are you? The wrong type of tin. Damn, nation. Um, alright. That up there, I know, is not tin. This should be silver. Yep, that's silver ore. Uh, all right, this is the other type of silver. So now we have both types of silver. We have one type of tin. We have one type of copper. This, I think, is the other type of tin. Yep. So that's both types of tin. What's over here? That's tin. That's tin. 
That is 10. That is also the wrong type of copper. So is that. Well, at least we know which type of copper is most prevalent in the world. Here we go. This is some lead, which makes this silver. So we have apparently all three types of silver. We have both types of tin. We have one type of lead, which I think is the only type of lead that naturally spawns. Tons of the wrong type of copper. Tons of intium. Grab a bite. And let's shift this into normal cast mode and kick our flight spell on so we can fly out over here. Okay, that's sulfur. What is over here? That's redstone, that's iron. That's a skeleton. That's a dark mage. I don't want anything to do with him. This is, again, the wrong type of copper. Plug this. Alright. Uh, I'm just having no luck finding this copper. Cat. Now is not a good time. Go away, Pikachu. Alright. Kick flight mode back on. Fly over here. I'm pretty sure both of these are the wrong types of copper. Let's head over here, see what we can find. That's some lapis. That's... What else do we got? A little bit of nothing. Might have to come back and get that copper some other time. So I kind of don't want to waste any more time derping around for it if it's this uncommon. I'm sure we will find it later. I would like to have a piece of gold. And that I haven't found yet. Drop down here, I guess. Take a peek through here. Twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two. Okay, we're good on flight time. I am just not going to find any gold, am I? I'm going to find a lot of zombies, apparently. Can you tell me here that many zombies all in one place? I kind of wonder if it's a spawner. Well, it is not a spawner. It's just a bunch of naturally occurring zombies. Sometimes zombies guard good stuff. There's Ferris. That was an ore we were missing. That I'd totally forgotten about. That's an Enderman. Let's go ahead and plug this up. Now, I don't really care if it cooks up our ferrous into ingots. That's fine with me. So, I'm not going to do anything special with the ferrous right now. I might change it later. You know what? For right now, I feel like we've got enough to get this system basically programmed. So, let's go ahead and recall home. And let's go set this up. First of all, take a look around, make sure nothing got in. There's been way too many surprises in here recently. And then in the export bus here, we're going to right click one of each of these ores in. 
Let's see. Oh, damn, nation cat. Okay, we got iron. Let's go ahead and pull these back out while I get this organized. Let's see. We got two types of tin, we got copper, we got three types of silver, and we got lead. We actually have nine different ores up here that we got to account for. So for right now, I'm not going to really do anything. Actually, you know what? What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to program each one of these to account for all of these items. All right? except for the lead. I'm only going to account for the lead in the first two. The other three, I'm going to replace it with the ferrous. Because we shouldn't have that much lead coming into our system. Lead is pretty rare, actually. Freaking cats, go away. I love my cats to death, but they are annoying the crap out of me tonight. Alright, and you... no. You, 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 and you. That should get everything set up for us. Now the export buses, or the import buses, we don't set anything in those. If we come over here, and we look, there should be no ore in the system. Why? Any ore that we put in the system should immediately be pulled out and thrown into the nearest pulverizer. At which point, it will be thrown into the nearest powered furnace, where it will be ejected from the powered furnace, and thrown directly in to our system here. If we take a look here, 485 copper ingots, where we had 484 a few minutes ago. 486, as we clicked out. Okay, so this is working completely as intended. All right, we now have some basic automatic processing going here. Uh, how are we on just plain old smooth stone so I can repair the floor? Pretty good, actually. There we go. <clears throat> that takes care of that. Now, for the storage that we have set up down here, we actually have quite a bit of room remaining, as you can see. And we got a lot of barrels down here, right? This thing is currently using, ooh, we are up to using about 21 EU per tick in order to maintain the system because of those buses. What do we power? Oh, we got a lot of copper, apparently. Anyway, one nice thing about this system, about that applied energistic system that we just set up over there, we don't really have to babysit it. We can throw 40 stacks of iron ore into this system it will get processed eventually. Might take a while, but it will eventually get done. Don't have to worry too much about it. Reason? If all of these pulverizers are full, and there's ore waiting to be processed, no problem, it'll store it in a chest down there. Second one of these things empties out, oh hey, there's room in an inventory, let's export. There we go. Good deal. Alright. Now, we want to also be able to send stuff to our base from outside. There was a reason why I went and got all those ender pearls. It's time for us to make an ender chest. Ender chest is four blaze rods, some wool, a chest, and an ender pearl. Not too hard. Let's take our chest, some wool, courtesy of Kozak, Our blaze rods, a few ender pearls, and some of our obsidian.
pull this out, and we just want one chest, so we're going to throw all of the materials up there with one chest, and there we go, ender chest. All right? Now, one thing about the import buses that annoys me just a little bit, they're kind of slow. I'll admit it, they're really slow. They pull about one thing, about one stack out every second. Now, we tend to dump a lot more stuff in than that. So what we might end up doing here, there's two ways you can approach the problem. You can either attach a whole bunch of import buses to all different sides of the chest, which would allow us to pull out up to six if we had one on each side of the chest. We could pull out up to six stacks per second, which would work. But there's another way I want to try, and it's going to involve a railcraft thing. Or not a railcraft, a red power. It's going to involve... Let's see here. No, I don't want to filter. Do I? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's a filter we want. So we need to get a red dope wafer. We need... Eight pieces of sand and eight pieces of coal. And a couple of wooden planks just to power the thing. Let's come out here and let's actually pick up our stupid alloy furnace and move it inside. No reason to have it out here. I'm just going to pop it down right over here. So we'll pop that down, throw our sand in, throw our coal in, throw some wood in there to power it. While we come over here and get three sticks, uh, not wood, iron, two pieces, we have some, and two diamonds. We're going to make ourselves a diamond handsaw. And I just heard a spider. Get some redstone here. By now, we should have our silicon bowl. Silicon bowl plus that gives you silicon wafers. Silicon wafers plus redstone gives you red dope wafers. Touch cobblestone. Some wood, some iron. And let's go filter. Need a piston. Eh. Filter, piston. One piece, bunch of you, bunch of you. Good. Let's pull the rest of this crap out. And we need some gold. Gold, cobblestone, piston, and red dope wafer which we should have a few of by now. It's going to get us, hello Winky, our filter. Now we're also going to need some copper, some tin, because we're going to want to come over here and pull all of this stuff out, and we're going to want to take those out, because we need to get ourselves just a little bit of brass. I don't think we really need the brass, but I wanted to have a little bit, just because. One more piece of the puzzle. We need to make another interface. So we need a conversion matrix, a basic processor, which is gold, silicon, one piece, and our cutting knife. We'll just do it this way. Maybe not. Where's the gold? There's the gold. There we go. You, 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 you. Gets us our basic processor assembly. We cook it up. And I grabbed it before the system good, so we're good there. 
conversion matrix. We need some ports. So I'll throw in the iron, throw in the quartz, throw in the basic processor, throw in the redstone. Winky, get down. And we need a few pieces of glass, which are in my inventory. Great. Boom. What are we missing? Cable? Yeah, we're missing a piece of ME cable. ME cable gives us an interface. Good deal. Now, let's come down here, and let's come over, say, to this place right here. We're going to put down our ME interface right here. Okay? Export config, exported items, processing. Okay? We're going to put down our filter right here. Just like that. We're going to put down our ender chest right there. What's this going to do? Well, as of right now, not a damn thing. However, if we get a piece of stone, and turn that into a button, and we put a button on the side of that filter, gold, and we click that, where'd it go? It went straight into here. So we can put anything we want in here. And every time we click this button, one more thing is going to disappear. Screw you. I'm trying to explain something. That was a creeper explosion. Alright. Notice everything's going away. Let's take it a step further. Let's grab us a handful of cobblestone, because there's a resource we're very short on, and that is smooth stone. Let's grab us some smooth stone. And we're waiting on one more piece, I think. There we go. Grab us some of that. Let's get a couple planks of wood. Yeah, that'll work. Get a couple sticks. Let's go ahead and throw our smooth stone in there, and that's going to get us some of these wonderful stone wafers. Now, the system already took them, so whatever. Alright, we're going to wait on ten stone wafers here. There we go. And we're going to make ourselves a circuit. Anodes. Uh, let's see here. We're going to need two redstone torches. Pointer. Cathode. Three wires. Two blanks. Wire, 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 blank, blank. Pointer. Cathode. Anode, anode. Gives us a timer. Throw all this away. Actually, let's grab a stick. Grab a piece of iron. That's going to allow us to make our screwdriver. Pop down here. On top of this, we're going to put the timer. Rotate it around. That will now pulse this thing for us once every two seconds, right? Nope. Once every 0.2 seconds. Actually, let's set it up to once every half a second. Now, what we can eventually do, once we get a little bit of red power stuff going, is we can come in here and we can put a pipe on here and say, if the inventory is full, emit a redstone signal so we can shut this off. Or rather, if the inventory is empty emit a redstone signal. But right now, let's just get a lever, put the lever up there, and turn the signal off. Winky, I know, kitty, you want to go out, but if I open the door, the horde is going to come in. Alright, 
So I think we have a pretty decent working system here. We have our first ender chest set up. I am eventually going to want to make us a couple of ender pouches to complement this. Which, as soon as I find the stupid things in here... There we go. Ender pouches are just blaze powder, leather, ender pearl, and leather. Can we do that now? I think we can just do that now. Yeah, I think we can just do it now. Uh, what else is it? An ender pearl and some wool. Not wood. Wool. Ender pearls. And blaze powder. That should do it. Ender pouch. Crafting recipe. Da, 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 da. Two ender pouches. There we go. Awesome. So, now when we go mining, we can stop in, turn on the lever to say, hey, I'm going mining. You can go ahead and pulse now. We can go out, mine to our heart's content, and oh hey look, I found some arcane ash when I was out. So let's go ahead and put the arcane ash in here, and nope, it's in the inventory. I think that's a pretty decent system. Now, we might eventually upgrade this. I might actually want to put a sorting machine on here. Just a simple sorting machine to pull out of here. That way we can get rid of this laggy-ass timer. But I think that method is going to work a lot better for us than having a whole bunch of import buses on the thing. And with that, I think I'm out of time. It's about 42 minutes in and my cats are getting very impatient, so this has been Night Dagger with episode 11 of Let's Play Modded Minecraft Season 4. Uh, we will catch you guys later.